platform, there is no other company that could make that assertion either. That sounds like a yes to me. That's, I think that's um, news. Uh, you're familiar, I know, with this BuzzFeed article that says that more than, according to more leaked audio from more than 80 internal TikTok meetings, China-based employees of ByteDance have repeatedly, repeatedly accessed non-public data about U.S. TikTok users. Everything is seen in China, said a member of TikTok's trust and safety department in a September 2021 meeting. In another September meeting, a director referred to one Beijing-based engineer as a master admin who has access to everything. These reports show data was accessed far more frequently and recently than previously reported. And your testimony is that this is false? Correct. All of this is false? That is correct. No, so there are... There Everything are, that you just stated, there is no such thing as a master account at the... Uh, that's not what it says. Period. It says that someone is referred to as a master admin. Well, but you're telling me that China-based employees have never accessed non-public data of U.S. TikTok users. No, we've is. already said on the record that we have Chinese employees who have access data. Well, that's what this is saying. So you agree? If you want to clarify on each individual statement, I'm saying that there is strict access controls around the data that is accessed in the United States that is overseen by our U.S.-led security team. We are working with Oracle. That's not what this. Now, that's not what this article says. We disagree with the categorization in that article wholeheartedly. Oh. Well, here's the point. I know there are other senators who want to ask questions. I think we're going to have a second round. What the truth appears to be, besides the fact that we can't get a straight answer on any of these questions, is that you have hundreds of employees with, it appears, access to U.S. user data that may very well be members of the Chinese Communist Party. You have no way to assure me that they don't have access we to our own, to our citizens' data. And you won't answer my question in a straightforward way about whether a CCP member has ever gained access or not. I think, from my own point of view, that's a huge security problem. Senator, if Thank I you. may, we are one of the most highly scrutinized platforms. There have been many cybersecurity experts who have researched our platforms, including Citizen Lab, which is a leading academic research unit based in the University of Toronto who have said, and I am happy to submit this for the record for the committee, that our research shows that there is no overt data transmission to the Chinese government by TikTok. TikTok's permanent overt. features overt. and codes do not pose a threat to national security. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Overt there data transmission? Ms. Pappas, this isn't, a, this isn't a hearing for you to testify at will. You're here to answer questions. I'm providing you with so, information. No, you're not. You're, just, you're talking over me, and you're submitting the information from uh, uh, who knows who funds this entity, who knows who's behind it, who knows what it contains. I don't know. What I do know is you won't give me straight answers to, your, to my questions, and the reason, I think, is pretty clear, because your company has a lot to hide. You're a walking security nightmare, and for every American who uses this app, I'm concerned. Senator Ali, thank you. Uh, Senator Ossoff, you're recognized for your questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to our witnesses.